Attention, please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles, G. Pitchell. Follow us. Right, we still have eight nimble finger contestants about to put their wits to the test with our next fastest finger first question. Nice and quiet, please, audience. Here comes the next question. Put these words in order to give the name of an international organization. Atlantic North Organization Treaty. I know what you're thinking at home. Eight contestants left. Surely none of them could have got that wrong. Let's wait and see. <laughs> it's the right order. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So that's NATO. Right, eight left. How many got it right out of eight? Six. Lucy Harper was fastest in 2.17 seconds. <laughs> Lucy, that was breathtaking. Why are you shaking your head? Don't look so fed up. You know that's why you came here. <laughs> Going, oh, no, it's me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on. You ready for this? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. This is Lucy Harper from Bedford. She was a hairdresser until M.E. prevented her from working full-time 22 years ago. She has not lost the knack, though, because she still cuts hair for friends and family. Lucy has two grown-up daughters, and, in fact, one of them is up there in the supporter's seat tonight, her youngest, Nadine. If Lucy does really well on the show, she might get nearer to her dream of opening an animal sanctuary. Uh, she'd also like to visit Iceland to see the Northern Lights and then take the whole family off to America. She's no stranger to big wins. Actually, she once won a bendy bully on bullseye. <laughs> Smashing super, look what you could have won. Right, 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. Lucy, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Ready for this? Yes. <laughs> OK, question number one is for £500. Here we go. The soap opera spoof, Acorn Antiques, is most associated with which of these comedians? Harry Enfield, Lenny Henry, Victoria Wood, Joe Brand. C, Victoria Wood. It's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, question number two. There are no trick questions. They did tend to get a bit harder as you go up, but question number two would guarantee you £1,000. You have three lifelines. Here it comes. Which of these is a type of dance? Quadrilateral. Quadriceps. Quadrant. Quadrille. It's D, quadrille. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> So, Lucy's on £1,000. She has not yet touched a lifeline. We'll take a break. Don't go away. <laughs> right, come on. You have £1,000. We'll try and get you up to 50 You have all three lifelines. Question number three is for £2,000. Here it comes. Which natural phenomenon occurs at the start of the Wizard of Oz story. Avalanche, tidal wave, earthquake, cyclone. That's cyclone. Final answer. Final answer. Why are you so certain? I've seen it umpteen times. It's <laughs> the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> You have £2,000. You have all three lifelines. Question number four is for £5,000. Here it comes. 
Which of these is an old term for a pharmacist? Apothecary, boya, puterer, vintner. That's apothecary. Final answer, Lucy. Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £5,000. Still nervous? It's getting better. I told you it'd get better as the money goes up. <laughs> In amongst all this, you're quietly accumulating a certain amount of money. You've not yet used any lifelines. You've got £5,000. Question number five would give you £10,000 if you can give me the right answer. Here it comes. Who embarked on her sticky and sweet tour in 2008? Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, Madonna, Kylie Minogue. I'm not 100% sure of this one, so I'd like to ask the audience, please. Right, audience, on your keypads. First lifeline, Lucy's needed. Have a look at this. Who embarked on her sticky and sweet tour in 2008? Now, A, on your keypads, Mariah Carey. B, Celine Dion. C, Madonna. D, Kylie Minogue. It's worth £10,000. All vote now. Sixty-four percent say Madonna. Uh, Twenty-six say Kylie. One thinks it's Celine Dion. Nine think it's Mariah Carey. What do you think, Lucy? I think I'll go with the sixty-four percent. I'd like to say Madonna. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You got ten thousand pounds. <laughs> Question number six is for £20,000. You've still got phone a friend. You've still got a 50-50. Have a look at question number six of a possible 12. Here it comes. Jenny Jerome was the mother of which Prime Minister? Harold Macmillan, Winston Churchill, Clement Attlee, Anthony Eden. You're going to say not a clue, aren't you? I am going to say not a clue, but hopefully I know a man who can. So I'd like to phone a friend, please. OK. I'd like to phone Jeff Matthews. Jeff Matthews? Yes, please. Who he? He's a friend. He's my brother's father-in-law. Where's he? He's in Doncaster. Jeff? Yeah. Chris Tarrant, good evening. Ah, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. OK, well, now I've got Lucy here. She's doing OK. She's stuck on a particular question. Uh, yeah. It's worth £20,000. Yeah, that seems... Oh. OK, so next voice here will be Lucy's. She'll tell her the question. Four possible answers. All right, matey? Yep, yeah, fine, thank you. OK, right. Lucy, <laughs> good luck. Good time starts now. Jeff, Jenny Jerome was the mother of which Prime Minister? Harold Macmillan, Winston Churchill, Clement Attlee or Anthony Eden? I don't know. You don't know. OK, thank you. I really don't. I'm sorry. OK, ah. thank you. OK. Mm. Now what do you do? Uh, so I'll try 50-50. OK, right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Lucy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Jenny Jerome was the mother of either Winston Churchill or Anthony Eden. You got £10,000. I really don't know the answer, so I'm not prepared to risk it. I'll take the money. Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Yes. OK, I give her a big hand. She goes away with £10,000. <laughs> just supposing... Just supposing you've been doing a pub quiz. Which one would you have gone for? Winston Churchill. Why? 
I think I read a long time ago about Jenny Jerome, but I can't remember whose mother she was. She was an American society beauty. Let's see. She was the mother of Winston Churchill. Oh. Oh. But <laughs> give her a big hand, she still goes away. Ten thousand pounds better off.